What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwid and I am back again today bringing you guys another video from my MLB The Show franchise. And today we are playing game three of the series here, the opening series of the season against the Miami Marlins. The first game went well for us. The second one we lost with a walk-off home run, an absolute disaster. And we get started early in this one. The leadoff batter, first pitch of the game. Charlie Blackman takes him deep. And we are up 1-0 very early in this game. Blackman has been playing extremely well in real life. And it's great to see him translate to this video game as well. I think that was the first home run that I'd hit with him. Possibly the first extra base hit. But check out this. First base, we have Carlos Gonzalez. And he's going to take off. And he's going to get in there at second with the first stolen base of the season for my team. I'm usually not much into the stolen bases, but I wanted to test it out there. And it worked out because we got him into scoring position. And Willen Rosario hits one deep to right field. And he is actually going to score there. Carlos Gonzalez is from second base. I don't think he would have made it from first. So that was a big time stolen base there to give us a 2-0 lead. But it didn't last too long. One man on and it is John Carlos Stanton who hits one into the gap. And he has just been destroying us throughout this series. And he gets another RBI there. This time an RBI double. Nearly thrown out there. That would have been a, an excellent, excellent throw. But we didn't quite make it there. That gave them just a one-run deficit at this point. Brett Anderson is going to get out of the inning with a strikeout. Back at the plate now. And it is Josh Rutledge with a man on first base. And he is going to bloop this one over the shortstop's head into center field. And we now have two on here. A man on first and second. And that led the way for Michael Kadair. He's been beasting throughout these first two games. He's got runners on the corner here with two outs. All he has to do is get a hit. And he grounds out terribly to the pitcher. Doesn't make it to first. Ugh. Wasted opportunity there. That sucked. But Brett Anderson was able to keep us in this game with that 2-1 lead. Gets a strike out there. And watch this error here. What, what is old Nolan Arenado doing? I, I don't even have any words for that. Just an easy, easy, easy blooper there. And he just drops it. I don't understand. I do not understand. Why did you stop running? I'm clearly holding the button to make you run to the circle. <sighs> but it didn't matter anyway. Brett Anderson was able to get out of the inning. We didn't allow a run there. That was huge. Now, top of the fourth. And it is Justin Morneau, who I have been absolutely raking with. And he is going to crush a home run here. Deep, deep, deep center field. And he has been an absolutely tremendous pickup for this Colorado Rockies team. I don't think he's been doing this well in real life. But for me, he's batting at this point in the season. At three games in, I think he was batting like 450, maybe 500. I know it's a very, very small sample size. But still, I feel very comfortable hitting with him, especially against right-handed pitching. He has just been absolutely incredible. Next batter up, it's his former Twins teammate, Michael Kadire, and he is going to ground this one down the third base line for a single. Not the best hit of his life, but it was effective nonetheless. Got us a man on first base for Troy Tulowitzki, and he is going to do something very, very similar here. It almost looks like an identical hit as it goes down the third base line as well. Puts runners on first and second here for another big bat. This is Willen Rosario, who did a great job earlier in this game, hitting that ball deep to right field to score a runner. And he is going to do another good job here as he crushes one to deep center field all the way to the warning track. And this should be a run scored. But for some reason, I suck at base running and I didn't send my guy from first base back to tag up. <sighs> Absolutely disastrous. And then here we throw an ugly pitch that allows a runner to get to second base. He gets over to third and with a 1-2 count... Oh, the batter is going to hit this one over the first baseman's head, and that scores the run. It's now back to a one-run lead now for our Rockies, and it's just feeling like one of those games where we're not going to be able to pull away. And check out this web gem here. It's Josh Rutledge, and he's going to ground one. It hits the pitcher. Look at the third baseman. What? What? It hits the pitcher. He runs all the way behind the pitcher and throws me out. But it didn't really matter because the very next at bat is Charlie Blackman and he is going to smack one. And this looked like it was a home run to me. I, I could have swore that was a home run, but they counted it only a double. I, I don't know if there's a review. I, I It looked to me like it hit the scoreboard, but I guess they're saying it hit the wall. Blackman now at third base here in the top of the seventh. A 1-2 count and Troy Tulowitzki is going to hit just the crappiest hit of his life. 
foul, and the first baseman catches it to end the inning. Moving forward to the top of the eighth, Justin Morneau is up again. We got a 3-2 lead here. They pitch it right down the middle, and Morneau smashes this one deep to center field. It gets through into the gap, and he is in there for a double, his second extra base hit of this game. Keep that in mind because he's going to be up again. Two runners on now for Josh Rutledge. He gets the pitch that he wants, but he grounds out to the shortstop. A little bit early there on that swing, unfortunately. Now, bottom of the eighth, and ugh, they're going to start to get things going here. We brought in a reliever to try and get the hold, but it wasn't so easy. Trust me. He does get two outs here, but we're not going to pitch to Giancarlo Stanton at this point. He has just been tearing us up. We intentionally walk him after throwing a couple of balls, and I just didn't want to have to throw anything down the middle of the plate. We do get out of the inning, though. A good curveball ties up the batter, and he's unable to get anything behind it. Moving forward to the top of the ninth, two out here, and an 0-0 count. First pitch of the at-bat, and Michael Kadire is going to make up for his previous transgressions earlier in this game as he hits a solo shot to put us up to a big, big, big home run there for Kadire. And if only we had pitching. If only we had pitching. Gerald Saltillamacchia, his second ninth inning home run. Unbelievable. And now with a man on second base, they get another single. And yeah, they tie things up here in the ninth inning. Unfreaking real. They almost took the lead here, but finally Rex Brothers is able to get the strikeout. That at least gets us out of the inning. And we move on to extra innings. It is Will and Rosario up who has two extra base hits already in this game, and that's going to be a third. A solo shot home run goes over the left field wall into the stands for a home run. We take the lead in this one in the 10th inning. Now, we're going to try and add on to it a little bit here. Rosario's been doing an unfreaking believable job. He really, really has. He's just been crushing the ball, but there's another batter that's been doing an even better job. That man is Justin Morneau. He is up again here in the top of the 10th, and he is going to smack another home run, his second of the game. My goodness, that guy is just on fire. If he keeps up at this pace, he's going to be the unquestioned MVP of this league, but only if we can win games. And unfortunately, our pitching has not allowed it. I have been the most unclutch pitcher ever. But bottom of the 10th, Rest Brothers is finally going to get the man to fly out to right field. Almost a disastrous hit there. That would have been an absolute chaotic ending to the game. But Brothers does finally get the out. We do walk away with the win in this one. Thank goodness. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you press that like button. Don't forget to leave a comment. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.